Uh, my name's Carl Morgan, and uh, I'm an Australian. Uh, I kind of I call what I do blues and soul, uh, soul fusion uh, artist, and living in uh, living in Austin, Texas. Uh, man, live music to me is. I mean, playing live is what it's all about for me. I mean, you know, we go into the studio to record stuff, and and it's fun in its own way. But uh, but uh, in some ways, I hate it. You know, I, and, um, I really love the energy and the and the uh, the dynamics that come from you know the unpredictable stuff that's that comes from playing live shows. Um, you know, if a lot of what I what I love about the kind of music we do is is improvisation and uh, and stuff like that. So you know, there's only one place you do that, and that's at the live, at the live gigs. You know, it's uh, well, it's heavily influenced by um, all the old blues guys. I mean, Eric Clapton's kind of my biggest influence, I guess. Uh, Stevie Ray's a big influence as well. Um, and then everybody everybody that they listen to, you know, BB King and Albert King and all that stuff, so, and then, and then I got a bunch of sort of, uh, more kind of soul R&B influences that are really important to me too, you know, Stevie Wonder and Donny Hathaway and, uh, and Marvin Gaye and all that kind of stuff, you know. Well, uh, I didn't really know, I, I had the opportunity to come to the States, um, through my record label and, uh, I didn't really know where to go, but, um, Austin was, everybody said, was the live music capital and so it seemed like a logical place to go and, try and put a band together and get some gigs and so that's what I did. I came here and I found a, found a drummer and a bass player and we started playing and I've been doing that for, uh, for about four years now. I just go back and forth to Australia when I can. In 2012, I'd like to, uh, <laughs> well I mean my ultimate goal has always been uh, I want to play on Letterman. <laughs> if I get to play on Letterman then I know I've made it. But uh, no, I mean, you know there seems to be a bit of buzz happening about Austin now, you know, um, especially with the the blues scene and that kind of thing, you know, Garrick like Journey just started blowing up everywhere and, and uh, you know I walk past him all the time on the street here playing playing on Sixth Street. So um, I'm kinda hoping that uh, that you know something's gonna start happening in Austin in the next uh, twelve months or so and I wanna be here for it. Yeah we've got um we did we did one song tonight that's pretty almost brand new. It's uh, it's called Line on the Dove's Wing. Um, and I wrote that one about uh, about boys who grow up with strong uh, female role models, you know, so when I was a teenager I, I had a couple of just incredible uh, female high school teachers who really opened my mind up and, and, uh, and you know, I sort of got to thinking one day about how, you know, it's a pretty thankless job sometimes being a teacher and, uh, and those ladies were really influential on, on the, the kind of person I became and so I wanted to kind of write something as a bit of a homage to them and to and to also, you know, boys that get brought up like single mums and stuff like that, like, you know, um, there's a lot of people that, that go through that in life and it's and it's, uh, it's an interesting thing to me, the way that young men develop with female influences. Um, it's just, uh, there's something real special about what you get from that.